<coughs> yo, yo. Um, I just wanted to let everybody know what I'm working on uh, right now. I'm spending a lot of time writing and working on a piece called the Group Home Story. Uh, I have poetry to go along with it. Uh, and I have songs and a soundtrack. But overall, I wrote a script. And uh, I'm looking to get the script turned into a movie. And it really is for the President of the United States to understand the conditions of the children in California. And uh, I believe that based on the conditions of some of the youth facilities from juvenile hall to adoption places to level 12 and level 14, including CYA, I think there are things that happen to kids that are a direct cause of their behavior and I believe that if we analyze closely some of the mishaps that have happened in these level 12s and in these level 14s and in these juvenile halls and in these CYAs I believe that the president will find reason to find certain kids that went through certain things and give them presidential pardons because the same kids that went through these mishaps uh, in these places uh, their behavior becomes erratic, you know, or sometimes the school to prison pipeline is essentially what I'm talking about. School to prison pipeline is when they vacuum certain kids, athletic kids, uh, kids with troubled past, kids with troubled homes, kids with a lot of energy, kids with ADHD, kids with bipolar, kids with schizophrenia, kids with drug addictions, and they vacuum them away from rehab or therapy or um, community college or entrepreneurship or opportunity to succeed outside of school. You know, a lot of kids that are in gangs, uh, they go through really serious, like, war type of experiences right at school, at middle school and high school. So, you know, dropping out and selling drugs is, like, way safer than what you guys are trying to force them to do, going to school, intermix with kids that are their enemies. and. It's just a bunch of stuff going on, but I believe that we can work on presidential pardons for a couple of the kids that are in my script. Um, some of the kids that are in my script have passed away already. Uh, rest in peace to Tyler Wilson. Uh, he was a good kid. He was in. Uh, he died in a car accident uh, when he was 20. But uh, he was in my script as a. Uh, he was like 13 when I was 17, and. Uh, you know, he found out I was writing a book. He was like, you're writing a book? You're writing a movie? Put me in the movie, you know? And uh, I promised him that I would. Um, yeah, and so, you know, I believe that with Kamala Harris in office right now, we can get this movie uh, with a lot of activists from Oakland, and we can get this movie funded. And not only that, but we can get the president to watch it. But maybe we could watch it at the White House with Kamala Harris. And uh, I believe that we can have a list of people that we have desired presidential pardons. Now, some of these men are guilty men, you know. But uh, nevertheless, the 13th Amendment it says that slavery is uh, uh, illegal except for a cause of punishment for a crime. So I believe that uh, the modern day slavery of the school to prison pipeline, you know, is proving to be a little extreme for certain kids that come from the system. Uh, you know, just because they commit a crime doesn't necessarily mean they should live that life in a box because uh, their behavior is so justifiable based on things that the system has put them through. So, uh, a last example, and I'll let you go. A lot of um, a lot of kids right now are getting off of crime by blaming it off on a mental illness. You know, and that option for the black and brown community is. Um, stripped away oftentimes in group homes and in uh, juvenile halls and in local cities uh, and in just local schools, you know, teachers don't play fair. They call probation officers instead of, you know, they, sus they, they arrest you for a fight on a school campus if you have brown skin uh, more often. But if you have white skin and you fight, you will get suspended, you know. Uh, a fight's not even an expulsion from your local school. But uh, the discrimination policies I have, the black and brown kids get arrested for fighting. 
So this is exactly what I'm talking about, the school to prison pipeline. The reason why so many black and brown kids are locked up and the reason why the president needs to get involved and pardon uh, a lot of people, you know, and um, hopefully some of my friends that I grew up with from the group on, that are in my script. So, um, yeah, I'm David Ocasio. I wrote a script. It's called Group Home Story. And uh, I made a soundtrack to it, kind of like Eminem with 8 Mile. And yeah, I mean, it's for foster kids. So I'd like to get funded by all foster kids. I'm going to crowdfund. I'm looking to do it through, like, just private investors, angel investors. Call me. Um, I'm going to have a cash app set up. But yeah, I mean, thank you so much for listening. Appreciate you.